Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Wednesday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time, but today is a memorial. It is the memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows, which is tied very closely to the exaltation of the Holy Cross yesterday. That's something that we'll dig into a little bit today. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus' father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, as I said, today is the feast, or the, actually the memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows, which is tied very closely to the cross. But as we read, it begins at the time where Jesus is presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. And it is there that, that the prophet Simeon uh, not only... Uh, prophesies over um, the, the child Jesus, who he had just taken into his, his arms, saying, Now, Master, uh, talking to God, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. So he really sees that God is doing an amazing work that here is the child, the Messiah, that has come into the world. He can die now. He's, he's seen the Messiah that was promised to him. But then Simeon has a special word for Mary. And he said, you know, behold, this child is destined for the fallen rise of many in Israel. And we understand what he's all about there. And this is true, that uh, some fall and some rise uh, because Jesus uh, has come onto the scene. You know, the Pharisees and the scribes are falling into uh, disrepute by the people and others that the uh, apostles are going to be uh, rising up to take places of leadership with Jesus. Um, he's going to be a sign that's going to be contradicted, which we also see. And then he says to Mary, and you yourself, a sword will pierce. And when we talk about Our Lady of Sorrows, this is actually um, an interesting memorial because we're not talking about the fact that this is just Mary being sad all the time, but rather another word for this is Our Lady of Compassion because the pain that she's feeling is not her own pain, but it's the pain of her son that um, your, a sword will pierce. And the first piercing was right then and there when Simeon really put, a, put this word forth that He's going to be contradicted. This is not going to be an easy ushering in of the age of the Messiah. He's going to be contradicted. Some will rise. Some will fall. This is going to be a time of tumult. And you're going to, to experience piercings. And uh, in fact, Our Lady of Sorrows as a memorial is, is given to seven different sorrows that she experiences over the life of Jesus, each and every one of them because she is his mother, the mother of God. These are not sorrows because of pain that she's received, but because she has such compassion for her son and such compassion for others that, are, uh, that it just breaks her heart. And of course, one of the final ones that we recognize uh, is the one uh, at the time of the cross. That's why it's so connected with the exaltation of the Holy Cross. Because seeing her son crucified, and as he died, she's lowered into his arms, the sorrow becomes so great. But that's one of the sorrows that she carries out of compassion for her son, but also then in recognition that it was through her son and through this redemption that life has actually been given into the world. But all of this, all that has happened for our benefit has not only cost Jesus, but it also has cost his mother as she has, through a mother's heart, taken on all these things that have happened to him 
and embraced them in her heart as well, recognizing that he must go through this. These are things that he has to endure in order for us to have eternal life. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, as always, it's really good to be with you today as we look at uh, the Memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows. And as the pastor of the, the parish of Our Lady of Sorrows in downtown Kansas City for a number of years, this memorial always have has a very, very special place in my heart. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>